two, one, break. Herpes simplex virus. The herpes simplex virus is a disease which can be divided most generally into type 1 and type 2. HSV1 is known as cold sores, which typically form on or around the mouth. Only about 80% of oral herpes are caused by HSV1, while the remaining 20% is caused by HSV2. HSV2 normally affects the genital area of infected people as watery blisters that form on the surface of the skin or mucous membrane. HSV2 is commonly referred to as just herpes. The structure of the viral, viral virus is the same for HSV1 and HSV2. The linear double-stranded DNA is enclosed by a viral capsid. The isohedral viral capsid is composed of five different kinds of proteins. A lipid bilayer forms an envelope around the virus to protect it. Many glycoproteins attach to the outside of the envelope to help the virus to interact with other cells within the body. Herpes simplex can be found all over the world, as it is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases. About 3.7 billion people have this disease worldwide, and the number is always growing. About 58 million women and 61 million men are infected annually. Although you cannot die from herpes itself, contracting this disease can make you much more prone to getting viruses like HIV. Herpes is found in the mouths and genitals of humans, but in rare cases, some non-human primates can be infected in captivity. The contraction of herpes occurs through the exchanging of bodily fluids from an infected person to a non-infected person. This can most commonly occur through sexual contact, wink wink, and kissing. In the body, herpes simplex virus can affect a variety of tissues and organs. The virus itself lies dormant within the bundle of nerves at the base of the spine. When the virus awakens, it travels via nerve pathways to the lower layers of the skin, where it can cause outbreaks on the genitals, buttocks, anus, and mouth. HSV can also afflict the brain in its encephalitis form, one of eight HSV forms that affects humans. The virus can remain latent in white blood cells, the kidney, the secretory glands, and other tissues. The pathogen inflicts damage in the form of painful, fluid-filled blisters, such as cold sores or fever blisters. The damage is inflicted when the virus is awakened. Overall, HSV can lead to systemic infections, gingivostomatitis, and encephalitis. Significant emotional damage can also be noted. This virus will begin 2 to 12 days after contact and show up in the form of pimple-like, clear vesicles containing infectious viral fluid. Seven to 10 days after primary infection, the blisters will begin to heal without leaving scars. As the crust from the blisters falls off, the virus remains and spreads in the, per the peripheral nerves where it enters its latency period. Once the disease affects the body, the activation of T lymphocytes by the virus, which includes the release of potent cytokines, and mobilization of macrophages will attack the virus and the host causing vascular and tissue damage. Some of the symptoms and signs of HSV include tingling, itching, burning, sores around the infected area, problems urinating, eye infection, or flu-like symptoms like fever, muscle aches, or swollen lymph nodes. Some cases of HSV will not show any signs or symptoms because the virus can remain dormant within the neural cells. Once the herpes virus enters the body, it never leaves. The virus is able to escape detection by the immune system by jamming the TAP protein. TAP plays a crucial role in alerting the immune system that the virus is present and that the immune system needs to fight it. By jamming that TAP protein, herpes can hide from the immune system because it is never alerted and therefore never detected. There is no cure for herpes, nor is there a vaccine. But there are some medicines that are able to suppress the symptoms, such as Zovirax, Famvir, and Valtrex. These work by stopping the reproduction of the virus so that it cannot infect more cells. It stops replication by stopping the action of DNA polymerase. As for prevention, the methods are standard with, as with most other STIs. 
practicing abstinence or practicing safe sex through using condoms and having only one partner will make the passing of herpes much less likely. Additionally, a pregnant woman with herpes is at risk of passing it to the child. So it is crucial that pregnant women get checked before delivering that baby to prevent the contraction of herpes to the child. People with herpes are stereotyped as being dirty or monstrous. For this reason, people with herpes often do not tell their partners about their infection out of shame. Without honesty between partners, the disease can spread easily. Society's views on people who have contracted herpes simplex has hindered research on this disease. No celebrity wants to advocate for herpes because of the reputation it will set for them in the media. To combat the spread of herpes simplex, we need to destigmatize herpes in the media and in the eyes of the public. When people can have open conversation about their sexual history in regards of what STDs they've contracted, we can prevent the spread of these STDs. With genital herpes, using physical protection like condoms will prevent the spread of the virus between partners. So remember, slap on a latex to prevent herpes simplex. Thank you.